run yet. Purdue has won both their games this weekend. They've got a doubleheader today. And they're under a new era. The Maggie Frizzotti era, her first season as head coach at Purdue, announced in June. Payoff pitch to Polar. She swings and misses, and that's strike three. Or cut starts with a strikeout. And Davis behind the plate catching the senior or cut. 3-1 pitch. It is a little nubber caught in foul territory by Digby, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Orcutt in the first. Ellis to work against Kearney. And it's a line drive base hit on the first pitch Kearney sees. For the bulk of the schedule. Swing and a miss, and that'll do it for Kendall Bailey. Second strikeout for Georgia, and the Walter starts with a strikeout in the second. Instead, it's a 1-2 count. Walter's pitch. There's a cold strike three. And she strikes out the side in the second. Shelby Walters comes in, picks up right where Orcutt left off, and he keeps us scoreless through one and a half. Chambly lifts one to left. Polar back at the wall. This ball is gone. Chambly has homered, and Georgia has the lead in the second. Her first homer of 2024. Looks like Polar might have had a beat on it, but just too far out of her reach. Dylan swings and misses. Walters has four strikeouts through five hitters. Runner going, called strike, the throw gets away. And Polar has herself a stolen bag. She's in scoring position as the count runs full on Campbell. And now they're calling her out. She may have gotten in front of that throw. The throw ricocheted off Polar. And she's out. So interference ends the top of the third. Georgia ahead one to nothing. Still conversation between Frizzotti and the umpires. We'll clean it up for you when we come back if there's any change. Walters next. And she went around again. Couldn't hold her swing. Peel to third, again confirms it, and Walters has strikeout number six. 2-2. Two -two. Pop up. Shallow center, Kuma wants it, calls off Chambly, and she's got it for the third out. Shelby Walters has struck out seven in three innings of work. Purdue leaves a runner on second, and Georgia has a one nothing lead through three and a half. Ground ball up the middle, and that'll sneak through for a hit. Sydney Kuma is aboard. And Georgia gets a speedy base runner on with one out in the fourth. Chambly hammers one. Center field. See you later. She's homered again. A two-run shot. And it puts Georgia ahead three to nothing. And there was no doubt about that one. For the second time in as many at bats, a home run chain goes to Chambly. Watch this one fly. Way gone. So here's Jaden Goodwin. Ground out to the first base of McFadden. And now a bobble over at third by Scarmardo, and she has no play. 
Georgia has two on. Digby crushes one, right center field, off the wall. Ellison will score, throw comes into third. Goodwin is safe there and it's 4-0 Georgia. Digby's racked up five RBI on the weekend. And it's a three run inning in the fourth for the Bulldogs. Two pitch to Armistead. This one to center, Dillon has it. Goodwin will tag up from third. The throw goes to the third base bag. Digby slides in safely. And it's 5-0 Georgia. Sack fly RBI for Armistead. Louisville, the ACC freshman of the year last year. Cold strike three on McFadden. And three pitches in in a Georgia uniform. Gibson's got a strikeout. Payoff pitch. That's strike three, and that ends the top of the fifth. A pair of strikeouts for Gibson in her first inning in a Georgia uniform. Purdue leaves one on second. They're four and a half, five nothing Bulldogs. Kuma rips one. Right field. And gone. Sydney Kuma. Her second home run this weekend, and Georgia's ahead by six. First pitch to Tyrena Jones as a grounder. That Mosley gets over to first for the out. Advancing to second on the play is Campbell. Two, two. Pop up, Armistead. And Backus has Georgia out of the inning. A run does come across, but the bases are left loaded for Purdue. And Georgia's ahead six to one. They'll have a chance to add some insurance in the bottom of the sixth. Georgia trying to close out their second win of the day. 2-0 pitch. Armistead has it. And that'll do it. Georgia wins it 6-1 over Purdue and improves to 4-0 on the weekend. They've outscored their opponents 23-1 over four games. We've got Georgia and Purdue tomorrow at noon. I'm Jackson Egan. Thanks for joining us for this doubleheader on Saturday. Yeah.